is that Weatherford neighborhood. See, kind of a standard, just three, two, a lot of nice little houses, but definitely on some land, definitely got to make sure your comps are good comps. Does things like carports matter, things like sheds matter, things like amount of land on the lot matters. Stuff like that matters out here. So, and there's, so we're gonna price this hat property at about 250,000 more or less. Um, there's a lot of properties out here. It's a super desirable area. So there's a lot of properties out here in the fours and fives that are bigger, that are maybe a little closer to the lake that aren't exactly comps for us, but that definitely enhance the desirability of the area. So I like, I like this house, not exactly a comp for us, definitely desirable. If I'm not mistaken, if we turn left here, so we're maybe a half mile away from our property. If we turn left, come down here, and we're right by that, where there's boat launches, there's stuff going on. There's half million dollar houses on the lake. So lots of folks like living out here. Great little, you know, great kind of rural country, country light. It's not like country country, because you're right between Weatherford and Fort Worth. So what, uh, Weatherford's uh, maybe 25 minutes from downtown Fort Worth, maybe 30 minutes from downtown Fort Worth. So we're like right between those two. So super convenient, kind of all the convenience of country, a lot of the convenience of city, and just a really pleasant, pleasant area. Let's come up here, you know, we're gonna go just a little farther. Take a quick shot of this lake, because this is kind of cool. So we're like maybe, we're maybe a mile from this. And houses, oh, houses like this overlooking the lake over here. So houses like this, obviously again, not comps for ours, but in the same, like basically in the same neighborhood. So definitely increases the desirability of the entire area. Especially on Twitter, because my goal is that a tank? It's a fucking tank. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing right now in YouTube land is we're going out to this house in a kind of a outskirts of a town called Weatherford, which is a really hot little hot little uh, city outside of DFW, just outside of the Metroplex. And it's a little rural. It's a little. I was here first. Yeah, it's not too. Anyway, it's a little rural, so I'm driving along, minding my own business, fixing to start talking to you guys, and my co-pilot here turns, like, really, like, really, like, starts neck cranking, like, what the fuck, dude? Like, is that a tank? <laughs> is that a tank? So we're like, well, I don't know, but let's make a U-turn to find out. And the answer would be, yeah, it's a tank. Just hanging out, hanging out at the gas station. So we got to, uh, got to drive by and take a look. God bless Texas. Yeah, yeah. So if the apocalypse happens, ag happens again, I don't know. If there's another apocalypse. We got the tank right here. <laughs> I'll be honest, I think that's a first. I've never seen I a don't tank think I've ever. Gas I mean, I've seen tanks like, you know, on army bases and shit. The VFWs, <laughs> they got the decommissioned ones outside. All right, so back to your regularly scheduled real estate discussion. We're rolling up on a, how many bedrooms? Three, I think it's three. I don't know, I've seen this Lake house. Shore? Yeah, Lakeshore, three. Three Shore. bedroom, two bath, nice nice house. It's on, um, it's on like an acre. It's on like an acre. And it's super, super desirable community. Stuff out here is moving fast. We're doing a kind of three quarters renovation and we're actually gonna be priced uh, for the zip code and for the, for the little neighborhood. We're gonna be priced well below the competition. We're gonna be priced um, competitive to what should move. So, the, so there's a trick with stuff like this. It's a little, it's not exactly rural because we're not out in like the country, 
but it's a little less than a like straight conventional type of deal. So you really want to be careful with the comps. Stuff to look, look out for in neighborhoods like this, where you get a little bit of land, is, okay, you got the house, obviously, which that's important. Like, obviously, you got the house, you got the square footage, you got the functional floor plan, you got all the traditional stuff that you have to watch out for um, when you're doing real estate, when you're doing these houses. But then you really have to look at what are the, like, ancillary things on the property. What's the extra shit that the property comes with? Can you say shit on YouTube? Yeah. Okay. What's the extra shit that uh, comes with the house on the property? Is there a pool? Obviously, everyone knows that. It's like, but that's a good way of thinking about it. So if you're doing a house in a subdivision, does a pool affect your value negatively or positively? And the answer to that is it depends on the subdivision. If you're in a million dollar neighborhood and everyone's got a pool and you're a house that doesn't have a pool and everyone's pool is going to cost $100,000, the value of your house is probably more than $100,000 less than the neighbor. If you're in a 3-2 neighborhood, then maybe it doesn't matter. Uh, it matters as an expense item. So out here, like where it's rural-ish, the important things to consider, obviously the house, obviously stuff like pools and all that, but consider outbuildings. Consider, is there a workshop space? Is there a big metal, you know, shit? This is stuff that's important for, you know, people that live out here, they're working on their cars, they got their toys, their boats. We're like a half mile from a lake so it's all stuff that's really you got to consider so if you're looking at comps and someone's got yeah 1600 square foot house but a 10,000 square foot like workshop with a slab well you gotta you gotta factor that in and when you're looking at your comps so anyway that being said we did all of our homework and uh looked at the neighborhood really well and we'll price it hopefully we'll price it pretty competitively should price it to move we don't have extra stuff on the property which, I mean, to a certain extent, as long as you buy it right, it's probably a good thing because that means it's extra shit you don't have to fix. But, there we go. Ugh. It's a nice little, very conventional house on 0.8 acres. Um, we're on City Water Inn. It does have septic though, so that's one unknown that we had when we bought it. But other than that, it's just a pretty sweet little house. So we're done, uh, we're done looking at our tank because apparently this house does not come with a tank. That's kind of a bummer. If it had, that would have been really cool. But um, we just saw the tank, so I mean, maybe we can, I don't know, maybe we can work something out. We got room in the backyard to do donuts with our tank if we bought one. Let's buy a tank. All right, let's go look at this house. One walk through, everyone knows the rules. While you're at it, subscribe. Saw a tank. Tank? Tank. Okay. A tank, like a tank. Oh. Like a Turn up with my tank? No, 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 not yet. Oh, what was it? No, it's not like a real tank. I'm just trying to hold it. Yeah, like yeah, a tank. Like filling up his. Like filling up his tank. Where? Just for like five minutes ago. That's why I was late. Here, I'll show you. At the Walmart, the Walmart gas station. See? <laughs> Foundation. We prep for paint, demo. So next we're painting and then we're putting the floor back and then putting like doorknobs and shit on. All right, you can get him on that, right? Like you can hear him? Yep. All right. What? Oh, we're doing a video thing. We're, you know, we're, we're starting a YouTube channel. Let's see those out, man. You look like you put on some weight in your Mexico. Are you okay? Disco ball. Oh shit. We got a disco ball in there. All right, let's go inside. Let's see what we got. So the house is a uh, pier and beam. We had uh, about 15 piers, I think 15 piers around the perimeter. Lifted up, not a whole lot, but just enough to level it and stabilize it. 
Oh, that's for the that's for the ball. That's for the light bulb. We got a remote control for the disco ball light bulb. Laundry room. Walking into the dining room and the kitchen. So this had this cheap, ugly laminate on it. It's like a four mil. Ugh. That's not even it. We passed it in the garage. It's like a four mil, like the first laminate ever made. So we ripped all that out because it looked like crap. And then we got um, vinyl down here and we'll just put vinyl plank over the cheap vinyl and it'll cover just fine. A uh, little sunroom back here with a fireplace, pretty cool. We're keeping the tile, so no point in changing that out. We'll paint the fireplace. You paint it? Yeah, let's paint. Yeah, let's paint. You got your guys here. Huh? Kitchen through here, we'll do new knobs, new doorknobs. What's this, is this plywood? Or what is this? Is this plywood? I guess it's plywood. Yeah. No, it's not bad. I was just wondering if it's the same as the nail down over there. You don't think so? Okay. So we'll put in. Let me see what you got here. This is plywood. All right, plywood. That's gonna be a lot of patching. It'll be easier just to put yeah. vinyl plank on top of this stuff. Yeah. Okay, plywood. Well, in that case, we can't just shoot with it anyway. All right. So obviously, you don't refinish plywood. So plywood here. Cool thing about this house, it does have. Uh, it's covered up, but over here in the living area, it's all got solid oak. So nail down oak. We're hoping we wouldn't have to refinish it, but you think we're gonna have to? I think we can maybe match it, we'll see. So when we did the foundation work, so we lifted this up and there's a lot of bad floor joists here that just uh, were rotted out from water penetration from the outside. So I fixed that and then came in here. The only way to really fix the joists was to take out part of the floor, took out about two feet, about a eh, foot and a half and fixed the joists from the inside. Um, here's, you can see the original hardwood. So three quarter inch nail down oak hardwood. We finish this stuff all the time. We just did this uh, actually what, a couple weeks ago in another house that we're going to today. And it turns out really nice. Hopefully we can just match this, but if we can't match it, we'll have to refinish the whole thing. That's not horrible. It's not like the end of the world. That's ugly. Keeping, keeping these? Yeah, I think so. Can we put on bigger blades? Can we put on like a bigger blade? Ooh, newer water heater. That's good. That's good. So the cool thing about this hardwood, it goes through the bedrooms, through the hall, and through the master down here. So it's you know pretty cool, but one problem was you said what it buckled up in one of the bedrooms a little bit. Yeah, you can see if you can see it on the camera, I don't know where there's a little bow. So fortunately, the hardwood floor guys can fix that without too much trouble. We probably take out a piece in the middle, reattach from both sides, and then trim down a piece, put it back in the middle, and uh, fix it that way. Oh, not bad. I thought you'd have the, uh, you'd have the paint farther along. I think you don't have it painted yet. Let's replace this door, huh? Paint yeah, the house. I thought you were going to be done painting by then.
Yeah, this one's fine. No, that's weird. We might, we might even stage this house when we're done. It's a little ways out here, but. You know, let's swap this one out, put a new remote control one in here. Look, probably just this one. Yeah, it's the master. We don't want to. We don't want to go crazy. So, all right. So the game plan here: we're gonna paint a bunch of stuff. We're gonna refinish the floor if we have to. And we're gonna put on a couple new fixtures. We get this thing. When are you gonna be done next week? Oh, the paint you should be done hopefully this week. Yeah. Okay. Then we can do the floor. Okay. So hopefully only about three weeks. Yeah. Hopefully about three weeks. The floor bar, do you match put it over now? You mean the kitchen? Yeah, the kitchen we'll get we'll get something that's pretty close in color to this, I think. I'll find something at the, uh, at Davis. And we'll see how bad the oak is, see if we have to refinish the whole thing. And if we do I'll probably have to have the floor guys pick it up on the way out. Paint the cabinets. Um, let's refinish all this same way as what we did over there. Right. Yeah. And I think we need to redo the tile here because there's a couple cracks and tiles down here if I remember right. So I think we'll redo, yeah, I think we'll redo the floor tile on this one. We'll get like a white wood grain tile or something. And let's, that's kind of ugly. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of this. Uh, let's keep, no, it's kind of scratched up and shit, isn't it? Let's demo this too. But paint the cabinet. Let's get rid of this. That's about it. That's about it. Huh? Yeah, the family graphics fine. Hey, she's blowing cold though. She's nice. Where's this at? Oh, okay. Do you think we can patch this without, do you think we can match that color? And not have to redo the whole thing? You got a floor that guy that can do that? Do you got a, you got a badass guy? And you can, what's that? I got Daniel, I don't know if Daniel, I don't know if he's got guys that can match this that good though. Yeah, it might not be that hard. It looks like a gun, like a gun barrel or something, huh? Mm -hmm. It looks like like a gun barrel stain, doesn't it? Yeah, so it's a little darker. So uh, uh, a wider grain gonna take more stain than a lighter grain. So the pieces next to this is probably gonna be about the same color as this because it kind of gets wiped up the same, but this is gonna be like in a different room. So it's gonna look a little different. This guy might be buying a house, so I better figure out, figure out what he's gotta say. So that's our main acquisitions guy. He's going out to a house in Arlington uh, from some of the mail they were doing. He's gonna see if he can lock this place up. She's not really, sure on the phone what kind of pricing she wants. So sometimes it's best to negotiate in person. Sometimes it's a waste of time, but you don't really know until you do it. So he's going out there, but his question was, it backs up, it's a nice, nicer newish house, like 2014, I think, something like that. Anyway, but it backs up to like a three-story apartment complex. So the question is how much that affects ARV. And the answer to that is like the answer to most things, it depends. It's a nice apartment complex, it's a new development. So actually it probably doesn't affect the ARV too much but it depends, so we'll see. See what they want, see if we're close, see what happens. If we get it, we'll let you know. If we don't get it, we'll cut this out of the video entirely. You guys won't even see it because we only show successes on our channel. That's not true, I'm kidding. But while you're on our channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure you 
obliterate, destroy, smash the like button, smash, smash. Don't break your computer though, while you're smashing the like button, because if you break your computer while you're smashing the like button, you can't watch the next video, which is also coming right up. So watch that too. We're gonna finish walking through this place in Weatherford and see what else needs to get done out here. So follow along and uh, subscribe.